Hello folks, this is my homemade telescope and this changed my hobby forever. And I was able to capture all the members of our solar system and the epic birthplace of stars. So finally in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made my telescope at home. Well, your brain must be biased to this type of a telescope when you say a telescope. Well, the story begins from this optician who observed that by keeping two lenses apart makes the distant object appear more closer and that gave birth to a telescope. Well, it was used to see troops in an army but when Sir Galileo pointed his telescope first time towards the sky, he could see craters on the moon, Venus with its different phases and even Jupiter with its four bright moons. Yes, Jupiter is 700 million kilometers from the Earth and he could see Jupiter with its four bright moons and of course the planet Saturn. And from then we are making bigger and bigger telescopes to see more deeper into space. And we can see the similar trend in amateur astronomy too, buying bigger, bigger and bigger telescopes. And even my first telescope was a refracting type of a telescope, which means it has a lens in front. Yes, this is my first telescope. And it has the focal length of 500 millimeters. So to show you what is the focal length, I place my lens in sunlight. So the distance from the lens to the sharpest image what you get is in fact the focal length. And longer is the focal length, more you can magnify and bigger is the object. And this is epic for planets. So for the second time when I made a telescope, it was this much big, 1.5 meters. That is because this lens has a focal length of 1.5 meters. So this is the school lab lens which I bought for free from my school and which give me this type of big views of the moon but with a blurry blurry and blurry views because the resolution what you get from a telescope depends on the size of the diameter of this lens. So bigger the lens, more light it collects and hence better the resolution. But these big lenses have a problem as when white light passes through a glass it splits into seven colors and same thing happens with these type of lenses and we get blurry blurry and blurry views. And this problem is easily solved by Newton's epic design, which is world's first reflecting telescope. And as the name reflecting, it has a mirror down there which focuses the light instead of a lens. And from then, astronomers started making bigger and bigger reflecting types of telescopes. And even the Hubble Space Telescope and the recent James Webb Space Telescope is in fact the mega version of reflecting telescope just like this. And the same trend got followed in my hobby. Seven years back, I made my first reflecting telescope. First, I bought the concave primary mirror of a telescope and ignored the secondary mirror just because it was just a flat and First I thought these mirrors will work but these mirrors have a problem that they are coated from behind and the light bounces off and we can see two moons and finally I bought the secondary mirror of a telescope. The real challenge was to make primary and secondary mirror cells. The secondary mirror holder is made with umbrella spokes. You won't believe but the entire telescope is made with scrap parts. So for the primary mirror I made this disc which is of the size of my PVC pipe and that's the other disc which is of the size of my mirror and I added three bolts from inside and these springs will make it flexible and I found those beautiful springs from broken umbrellas. And I made three exact distant holes as that of bolts so that it can freely fit to the main disc. And finally I added three nuts so that I can change my mirror direction and finally our primary mirror cell is done. You can see how this primary mirror cell is very very flexible and you can change the direction of your primary mirror with these three nuts and to secure everything in place just tight I added one more screw which is the locking screw at the center which will hold everything in place. The secondary mirror cell design is same as that of primary mirror and I made it with a wooden stick with a 45 degree angled cut and made a metal holder for a mirror just like they add diamond in a ring. If you have this machine at home, you can do anything. And the springs for a secondary mirror I found it from pens like this. And finally, I added the secondary mirror to the secondary mirror cell which is fixed to umbrella spokes and the main tube 
and by moving nuts i can change the direction of my secondary mirror same as that of primary mirror and lastly i added primary mirror cell to the main tube by adding three screws to three sides of primary mirror cell and tightening it just right our optical tube is ready for the collimation so when you look through a telescope without an eyepiece you should see the reflection of your secondary mirror should be at the center of primary mirror and the reflection of your eye should be at the center of secondary mirror and for that i aligned the secondary mirror first and then primary mirror and finally after three hours of struggle i made the collimation and locked the screw the success our light bucket is ready to observe the wonders of the universe the mount of a telescope is made with scrap wood and titan weight bolts to this pvc pipe i made this mount because it was very easy to make this mount has a very very simple structure with two wooden plies holding this pvc pipe with nut bolt and this has a wooden base and you can move it in altitude direction and azimuth direction and this epic design for large telescope is made by world's famous homemade telescope maker sir john dobson and i found this mount very stable for such high focal length telescopes and the focuser is made with wood and pvc pipe coupler and the t-ring is made with pvc pipe attached to dust cap of my camera which i can attach to my camera easily to take pictures if i want to use eyepiece i can add this tube to the t-ring and add an eyepiece and on the eyepiece i can add my smartphone and final thanks to all the rare screws which i found from my old scrap collections so that's how i made my homemade telescope and with this i could get beautiful images of space by connecting my smartphone and camera to my homemade telescope so hope you like this video subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching